So we learned a lot about drag tires this summer. Front tires, rear tires, air in the tires, small skinny tires, and everything else. But we never have got a chance to take a look at uh, 3D printed tires, including 3D printed rubber tires. Coming up next on the channel. What's going on guys, it's Chad. Welcome back to the Dorky and 40 RC channel. Thanks again for stopping by here. We do a lot of no prep drag stuff. And of course we do some other RC stuff too. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing or hit that like button and don't forget to drop a comment. Anyway, the guys at Five Star Hobbies just keep on dropping all kinds of stuff. Now, some people say these things are gimmicky things. I like gimmicks, especially when they are good priced. And what we're looking at here is some stuff that could be a gimmick, but it's a very good price. What we're looking at here is a couple sets of actual 3D printed tires, rubber 3D printed and their 3D printed wheels to go with them. We got two different sets. We've got a solid wheel and we have your normal spoked type of design. Now, of course, this is for the breakout chassis, but you can use these on any RC drag car that you would like to, heck, any RC car at ever. But Five Star is just, again, putting out all kinds of awesome stuff for all of us to try and just kind of see what works. And, I know a lot of people for some reason don't seem to be, I don't see a lot of these cars out there on the Facebook groups. I know a couple big names use them. Obviously some of the big names do not, they have their own cars, but I'm telling you this chassis is where it's at. Just the um, a sheer amount of things that they have to tune with is just unbelievable. They literally just came out with last week I believe three or four different sized shock towers for the front and the rear, and they are available in multiple thicknesses. So talk about tunability, right? I'm still pretty much running standard stuff on mine. The end of the year, I was running sub two seconds. So if I can do it, you can too. And this chassis will help get there. So let's take a look at these wheels because I haven't even opened them yet. And I'm really dying to just like touch them and see how they feel. So let's do this together here and see what we got. So the first thing we want to look at, of course, is the actual tire itself. And man, it is a, uh, it's, it's a hard, hard tire. I, it's hard to believe that it's actually made out of rubber, but if you look on their website, it does says, say that. So this is not any kind of injected molded stuff or anything like that at all. Let's switch to the bench cam here and take a look at this. So there you go. There's pretty much what you're looking at. And these are designed to go right on to their rims that they have made and they've got different size stuff going on. I went with the tall ones just because I didn't really have a lot of luck with your smaller tire this summer, but I have a feeling that I probably would have more luck with it now, just based on how much better the car runs and how much easier it is to control. All right, so we're assembled here. And boy, it's a tight fit, that is for sure. And if you take a look, it's definitely a skinny tire. I know a lot of the five-star guys themselves love to run the tall DE skinny tires. And if we compare that to a Hoosier tire, you can see that it is definitely less thick. And of course, it's gonna be less uh, of a thickness than the fuzz bite and if we stack them all next to each other here you can kind of get a view of how big they are we'll put it on top of there so it's just slightly smaller than the hoosiers which is good because i tend to like that tall tire the good thing about these of course is that they are not going to balloon and mess up your steering the other thing is they are super super light if we actually turn on the scale here and weigh these suckers, my typical Hoosier tire is coming in at around 38 grams. This is coming in at 22 grams. So that's some significant weight savings. 
Now, one thing I really did not pay a lot of attention to last year was the weight of my car. I'm often wondered that if I was able to decrease the weight on it, how much better it would perform or would it not perform as well? Those are a few things that I'm looking to try early in the spring as far as things like this, lighter tires, uh, lighter uh, bodies should be out by then. And there's a lot of different kind of chassis that they actually have now. I had their three millimeter chassis, which is pretty much the same thing that they have now, just cut down to a three millimeter plate. I think I like the stiffness of it though, to control just like resonance and everything like that inside the car to make things run a little bit smoother. So they actually make a Weight Watchers version of the four millimeter chassis that has more carbon that's cut out strategically. And then that would allow us to actually cut some of that weight out. And that's a big savings because there's also places on the car where I plan to add weight. I plan on removing the rear wheelie bar weight box and adding in adjustable arms that are metal and brass weighted on the car. So here's a look at the solid one and I'll put it on the scale. The solid print comes in at nine grams. The other one comes in at six that I just showed you. So the solid wheel will be a little bit heavier. And you know, this stuff isn't printed out of like PLA or PET G that's gonna break on you after one rip. I mean, this stuff is made out of their like super indestructible nylon infused carbon, whatever the heck they're doing there. And the quality of everything is just super amazing. Even these wheels, which were printed out of like a rubber type of material, really have, you know, almost, there's just no cleanup. Everything just looks super smooth. And if you take a look, if the camera focuses here, you can see that it's got like a, a pretty cool like texture to it right there and the light kind of shines off of it. So it kind of looks like a tire. So yeah, guys, I'm pretty stoked to try these things. Ah, oh, the winter is just killing me. I wanna get out there and play with my car. Luckily, we've had the buggies and stuff like that to keep us busy. Got some low C mini stuff coming for you that you are going to love. If you want to have some fun on a budget, the low C mini B or the mini T is a definite. So that's gonna do it for this quick little video guide. Come back in a couple months and I will let you know how these things go. Check out Five Star on their Facebook group and maybe you'll see some running video of them before then. So we will talk to you guys later. Peace.